How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and today we're going to be talking about Hive, Ebon, and SOS. We're going to be going over their overall performance by doing the technical analysis for all three of these stocks. Also, to go over Bitcoin, I love what I'm seeing. It's still consolidating and building up that support in that high 50 area, and that's exactly what we want to see. Also, what we covered in the last video, we saw that Ethereum ended up hitting all-time highs over the weekend, and part of the reasons why we've seen some strong price movement in Hive today. But we're gonna do that in a technical analysis, go over everything, take a look at some of those support levels just in case we end up having a pullback, and also taking at some other levels in regards if we have some more moves to the upside for all of these stocks. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be giving you guys some recent news that came out for Ebon, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Of course, we have timestamps in the description. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be doing a technical analysis on a Hive blockchain, which ended up having a strong day in the market, exactly what we wanted to see and we were expecting from Hive, considering the fact that Ethereum ended up reaching an all-time high over the weekend. So let's get into it. So we can see overall on the day, it ended up closing at $4.34, being up 9.32%. As far as the ranges on the day, we had a low of $4.01, and then we also ended up having a high of $4.39. So what we're looking at right now is actually actually the three month, one hour chart. We wanna get a good picture and showing that, hey, what's the overall trend looking like for Hive? So the first thing that we could see here, we wanna take a look at our support levels. So we definitely see we have some strong support here at $3.30, which we've already discussed in a number of videos. Another support area to also take a look at as well is right here at $3. If this $3 area ever ends up breaking, then the next support level that we wanna see hold would be here at two dollars and sixty cents let's just call it two dollars and sixty cents and then the next level would be two dollars and fifty cents but let's take a look at what's going on in regards to the uptrend so we can see here that hey we ended up breaking right through that four dollar resistance area which which is another area we spoke about in the last video and which was key for hive to actually break and then we also talked about hey we're looking forward to seeing hive this week hold down that $4 range and it did a great job doing that for the entire day as you could see right here. So the one thing that we need to take a look at right here at this $4.36 level, this is definitely an area of resistance that we've seen in the past, right? So once it's able to break through this particular area, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing a strong move going up to $4.50. And after, once it passes $4.50, I'll be looking for it to make a move past $4.67. And the reason being is, because these are resistance areas. These are things to be aware of. So now, if we take a look very quickly here, is that the one thing that we need to notice, if we take a look at our indicators, it is well above the 50-day EMA, and it's also well above the 200 day. So it's above both of our indicators. So this is looking very, very bullish. And also, this also means this is also not the best opportunity in regards if you want to get in right now. But here's the caveat. If you're looking at Hive long term, then it's definitely not a bad look where it is at the moment. I was saying if you can get in under $4, that would be great. That's pretty much where my position is. I'm literally in at $3.60 right now currently so I am up so anyone who is just deciding to go into this just be aware of those support and those resistance levels that I spoke about of course it's going to be your decision you invest at your own risk but I just want you guys to know because you know this is going to be volatile overall in general because it is in the cryptocurrency space so what I'm going to be looking forward for tomorrow I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing some more upward movement from Hive but if we don't get that and it ends up pulling back and getting back into the three dollar range best believe that i'm going to be adding of course i'm not telling you that but i feel like it's a great opportunity because like i said hive is in ethereum and bitcoin so it does offer diversification and it's part of the reasons why i have high conviction for it all right so we're going to be doing a technical analysis for sos so we're going to take a look at the overall performance on the day so we can see right here it finished at $4.78, so overall being down 0.83%. As far as fluctuations on the day, we ended up seeing a low of $4.65, 
and we end up seeing a high at four dollars and ninety three cents so right away when we take a look at this chart we're taking a look at the three month one hour chart we want to make sure we see a bigger picture in regards of what the price action is actually telling us we definitely have some support here right at this four dollar and sixty cent level so that's something to be aware of so what if the price ends up pulling back so if it ends up pulling back then an area to take a look at or also to look out for is definitely around this four dollar and fifteen cent area if it pulls back and that area ends up breaking the next area to keep an eye on would be three dollars that's right three dollars and eighty cents so these are possible areas of where it can actually end up pulling back to because that's where we see there's areas of support am i saying if that's what's going to happen no i am not but i just want to make sure that you guys are prepared and if you see that opportunity you know what you need to do now so the next thing that we want to take a look at is what are we looking like in regards to the move so as you can see from this indicator here from the 50 day ema i definitely want to see sos get back into reclaiming and getting into that six dollar area i do see it getting back into that six dollar area and i have no doubt about it is it going to be happening this week that would be great to see hey it could possibly end up happening next week but one of the things to be aware of is that we definitely Definitely has some resistance here right at this five dollar level and the fact that we have resistance at five once we're able to get past five then I definitely do believe as you can see over here we get past five dollars and sixty two cents we can see that strong move going into six but again I think it, we have to get past five once we're able to get past five show some solid support there some consolidation then we can end up hitting that next resistance area here at 560 and once we're able to pass this 560 area make that move to six so that's exactly what it's going to look like and what you need to look out for in regards to a strong move going towards the upside and like i always say if you're like myself and you believe that bitcoin is going to be hitting 100k this year i have no doubt in my mind that sos can go back to being into that six dollar range and moving even higher but if it does end up pulling back just know those particular areas that i told you as well all right so we're going to be doing a technical analysis on ebank international aka ebon so we ended up finishing the day at six dollars and 35 cents being down 9.67 percent ended up seeing a low of six dollars and 25 cents and then seeing highs of seven dollars and 51 cents so one thing that we need to take in consideration ebon actually ended up breaking some news today telling us about how they've launched their exchange and it's part of the reason why we ended up seeing that pop going to seven dollars and fifty cents but of course considering the market conditions and also due to the fact that they did announce that they were doing an offering we ended up having a strong sell-off so when we got to that sell-off we definitely got to see that we had some strong support here right at this six dollar and thirty cent level so what are some other areas to look out for just in case the stock pulls back further so another area to look out for is definitely this six dollar level another area to look out for is five dollars and fifty cents and then the next area to look out for is right here at five dollars so if it decides to pull back even further or if we start losing some momentum with bitcoin these are some potential areas that you might want to look out for if the opportunity presents itself now for the next thing if it ends up being an upside move we already see there's a clear resistance area right here at this seven dollar level once we get past that selling seven dollar level we definitely have to see getting past seven dollars and fifty cents and if we get past seven dollars and fifty cents we'll definitely see a strong move going to eight dollars and this is taking a look in regards to what the technicals are actually showing us and also as we take a look at this three month one hour chart if you take a look down below here at the rsi it's literally at 19 and we already know when it's below 30 hey that's an opportunity where you might be able to take advantage of in regards to it rebounding and getting back to levels where it's acceptable so one of the things that you want to look out for is making sure that you use those previous support areas like i talked about for pullbacks to use as a stop loss or to minimize your risk and then as far as for an upside movement be aware of what those resistance areas are you can use this for swing trade opportunities and short-term opportunities but if you're like myself and you believe that bitcoin is going to be hitting 100k this year then ebon is definitely in a good place and i know it can definitely move up from where the current price where it's at right now with the momentum that i'm expecting from bitcoin all right so we're now on the ebang website so we're going to be taking a look at the most recent 
recent news that just came out today on April the 5th. So we're gonna check this out. eBank International Holdings Inc., a blockchain technology company in the global market today, announced the official launch of its cryptocurrency exchange. Qualified investors will be able to register and trade by visiting the official website at www.ebanx.io. Mr. Dong Hu, chairman and CEO of the company, commented, The official launch of our cryptocurrency exchange is a result of our continuing investment in research and development. In recent years, we have made a considerable investment in R&D, talent recruiting, as well as product innovation and iteration. The launch of our cryptocurrency exchange business will not only expand the revenue sources from our cryptocurrency business, but also optimize the development of our blockchain industry chain. There is no guarantee that the company's operations of its cryptocurrency exchange will improve the company's financial performance or results of operations. Shareholders are cautioned not to place undue reliance on this press release or the forward-looking statements contained herein. So that's what I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on. It was part of the news that dropped and also contributed to the spike that we ended up seeing in Ebon today in the early parts of the trading session. So for my final thoughts on Hive, this is the price action that I really wanted to see. We saw that, hey, you know what? Hive did a great job staying in that $4 range. So it's definitely continuing to look bullish. And as we know, it's already been on quite the uptrend. And it's part of the reasons why I told you guys that I'm building out a position for myself. In regards to Ebon, the fact that they had the opportunity to launch that exchange, we know that they did an offering right beforehand. These are some things, hey, we wanna be aware of, but the good thing about it is we're seeing some press releases and we're getting some updates, especially as shareholders. In regards to what's going on with the stock, you gotta be aware. There's a lot of interest from shorts and there's also a lot of manipulation going on with this stock. We also gotta take into consideration the market conditions. It was very choppy today. So of course we saw that type of price action with Ebon. We also saw this price action with SOS as well. We already know with SOS that offering has already been closed. It was closed on April the 1st. So we definitely have to look forward to seeing what type of price action we're seeing. And it's part of the reasons why I gave you back those possible pullback levels. But if you're like myself and you're bullish on Bitcoin, I know these stocks will bounce back and get into those price areas that you are looking for. That also makes you want to get into putting in a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just make sure when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. One thing about when it comes to this particular industry in regards to cryptocurrency, it's going to come with a lot of volatility. One thing that I am aware of and the one thing that you need to pay attention to, we saw that the bigger companies or the market leaders in regards to Riot and Mara ended up really benefiting from the strength that we're seeing in Bitcoin. So if this continues and Bitcoin can get into that 60 and have a strong move and make that push getting closer into those 70s areas, then you're going to start noticing more differences in regards to the stocks like Ebon, SOS, FTFT, and as well as Hive. But again, Hive is a more diversified in the sense because you get to benefit from the movement that you see in Ethereum as well. But that's to kind of give you guys a rundown so you're aware and you know what is happening. But like I'm going to say in the end of this video is making sure whatever that you invest in, make sure that it's money that you are not afraid to lose. You can't have any type of emotion in the money and you just need to be patient and things will play out. This is something that I keep with me and it's part of the reasons why I have a lot of convictions in the plays because I know that they will turn around because of my overall bullish thesis on Bitcoin. And you also need to do your due diligence and do that background work yourself so you realize what's going on and what you see in front of you. And I also want to emphasize the fact when it comes to cryptocurrency plays, I treat them just like penny stocks. They should not be taking up the majority of your portfolio. At the most, no more than 10% 5% or 1%. You choose what's best for you and for your situation, but that's how I look at it. Hope you guys found this video helpful and we'll talk soon.